GM Poke here, welcome back to the channel. Super excited to get an opening actually before the drop day. So I have these three tens. I've got the Charizard. That one's gonna be fun to open. I've got the Iron Treads and I have the Great Tusk. So these are actually gonna go on sale this Friday. Uh, super excited to get to do the opening today before the actual release day to show you guys what's in these tins and help you decide which one you want to pick up. So watch the video and we'll get into the opening. Hey guys, wanna help the channel, support the channel? All you gotta do is drop a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you can, leave some comments down below. The people leaving comments down below during all these videos are the ones we're gonna be picking for our next live video giveaway. So we'll be doing some live shows, I'm gonna be trying to schedule them a week out, and in those videos, we'll be doing giveaways for people who are making comments on the videos. Please help me out by liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in our next live opening. All right, welcome back to the show. So I have got three tens here in front of me, the Charizard, the Iron Treads, and the Great Tusk. So these are promo cards from the Paldean Face, as you can see on the box. I just got these in just a little bit ago. Figured I'd get down here and get you a release. These are actually gonna be going on sale on, I think the 9th. I think they drop on the 9th, so they're not even, honestly, available yet. So hopefully, you guys get a pretty good look at these. So this is gonna be the Great Tusk EX. Before I pull it out of this, is a promo. So Scarlet Violet promo number 72. And you'll have to let me know which one of these, if you're going to pick up any, are you going to get? Are you getting all of them? Or what is your plan? So let's take a look. And throughout any of the videos, people dropping comments, liking and subscribing, those are the people we'll be using for our giveaways. The simplest thing. You don't have to go anywhere else. I'll just go through, look for the comments, grab usernames, write them on energy cards, and we do our next live show. You'll be in the drawing. So let's see here. All right, look at this. That is pretty well centered. I think we're probably going to have to throw that in the mail. Now, if you watch for a while, you know that I like to do submissions to PSA, and I have a backlog, a literally huge backlog of cards uh, that need to go to PSA. And the problem that I have is that, um, I mean, ultimately, there's too many of them. So I've decided to kind of pause some of the older card sets uh, because their values are a little more stagnant and start getting into releasing some of these new ones into the PSA submission system. Now, there is going to be a code card for every single one. I will try to... I don't know how much time I have today. And there's going to be five packs of Paldean Fate. So really stoked about these tins. Five packs is awesome. Kind of reminds me of the Crown Zenith tins. Okay, so we've got this one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get some of these newer ones off while it still you know, makes sense for me to do it. If I wait too long, uh, these are going to take a long time to come back up. Uh, so essentially, they're going to be high. They're going to drop. So that being said, I will be trying to rush into getting these out into uh, kind of some weekly submissions on these newer sets and see if I can get back on top of getting you guys some, um, you know, just some things to look at. Okay, so here we go. So there's code cards and every single one. We'll put those aside. All right, so let's take a look at this Iron Treads EX. And again, it looks pretty well centered. It's good shine. There's no there's no roughing. I'm looking at my monitor. Sorry, that's why I'm looking up and not at the card. It looks pretty good. Right, holy smokes. Two out of three. Now that, ooh, maybe a little whiting. A little, you can get a little speck. I don't know if it's because of the angle I'm holding it or what, but... Um, now the question becomes, will the Charizard be centered? These two, very well done promos, they are centered. And again, you know, getting them off in a timely manner and then getting them back in a timely manner is going to be huge for whether or not I get a return on them. But let's just get these boxes open and get you guys showing you what's going on. And again, if you're going to pick up any of these boxes, let me know which one you're looking for or two or all three, right? Okay. Here we go. This is the one I've been waiting ever since I saw that there was going to be a 10. I've known about this 10 for a long time. Got it pre-ordered a long time ago. Oh, this is the one I want. Is it centered? It's actually of all of them. It's off. A little off to left to right. I think that's enough where they might ding me to a 9. So the importance would be getting this there as quickly as I can so I can get it up and get a graded version online before anyone else. So this is gonna have to go out. And the problem is I'm taking a trip tomorrow, right? So by the time this video is up, I'll be already getting ready to go on my trip. So I don't have time to be opening a ton of these and ship them off. Normally I would think I would try to get them open and ship them off on Friday, but I did also just submit. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, I'm feeling a little better about that. I don't know, I, you know, I, I think, I think we're okay. So these are the Paldine Fates, and these would be the shiny EX promo cards. It's kind of 
uh, the 13-word description we would use for these. So what happens is a lot of times these promo cards have so many descriptors, special, illustration, rare, blah, blah, blah. These are the like the shiny, the ultra shiny kind of copies. So pretty stoked. I've never had a shiny Charizard before. Actually, I have the original shining Charizard. Um, I do have that one. Um, I haven't released that one yet. Uh, I don't even have it up for auction anywhere. I'm debating the best way to move it. I do not want to hold it forever. So keep paying attention to all my auctions one of these days. It'll just pop up there. Okay, so we're going to just do a head-to-head -head battle. We got four packs. We'll kind of go one, one, one right down the line and kind of see what we can get. And I guess we try to figure out which box you think is going to be the winner, right? Now, you might want Iron Treads or you might want the Charizard. But, you know, let's see which, which pack's going to win. So five packs. Holy smokes, let's get into it. And again, trying to speed up the amount of time it takes me to get through these packs so you don't have to wait all day. We're going to put all the code cards in that one pile. We do three. We flip to the front. What can we get today? Now, I've had a lot of packs lately where the hollow has got some hollow bleed, and I'm not sure what's going on with that. So let's see what's happening today. All right. We have our first reverse, and we got a palafin. And it's well-centered. And a Meg mortar. And... The, again, you can kind of see, you can see in the background, there's like a hollow bleed on it. So someone let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, what is going on with all of the cards having hollow bleeds? And I did just, it, I had 98 cards submitted. I did send off three of these palafins. This one actually looks better centered than those did. But what do you guys think? If you think uh, it should be sent, make a mark, let me know. And in the comments, drop me a, drop me a note what you think should ultimately be all the cards that we send off okay so hollow bleeds on these rares what is up with that the hollow bleed is when you can see you can see that that hollow shining through what should be like an opaque uh, and it shouldn't be shining through so so far uh, I'm just gonna kind of combine all the bulk if you guys are okay with that just so I don't have 13 different piles going on all right so one pack from iron treads ex next so first pack winner from uh, great tusk so let's see mm. If I can get them out, I think I'm going to need my scissors. What the heck? All right, so we got a code card. One, two, three. Let's hide that. Okie dokie. Here we go. Now, this is a very short set for cards that are not uh, shining or secrets. So you're going to get a lot of doubles. You don't have to open a whole bunch. All right, we got a King Gambit right away. Oh, man, we're starting off hot. And I think we're pretty well centered. And we got a walk trio. You're going to think I sent like three of those off. And an Annihilate. And again, the Annihilate has got Hollow Bleed. It, I, at this point, and it, it's been a, like it was on Lost Origins, it was on Pokemon Go. I don't know what is going on, but all my cards are coming out. All my rares are coming out with Hollow Bleeds. I don't know what it is. So is it just, is it kind of like the new standard or like, am I just getting the luck of them? And then, you know, are you guys interested as collectors? Do you care about Hollow Bleeds? I've got a bunch of like, Way back when, like Diamond and Pearl. Hold on one second. My screen uh, took a jump start. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm back here. So, um, yeah, I got like a couple of these off. But are you guys interested in the uh, hollow bleeds? Because I have some like Diamond and Pearl way back in the day kind of like level hollow bleeds. And then like every which generation, I think I have them now. Um, but, yeah. All right. So, let's take a look at this. I don't think that I've pulled a King Gambit before. So, I might... I might have enough, and I sent out, like I said, 98. Most of them were from here. And then a couple older ones just to kind of help uh, secure my, my my ability to make money off the send. But I think I might be able to complete a shiny set of PSA submitted cards eventually because I'm submitting so many of them right now. Okay, let's get all those stacked back up. So, so far, I thought we had a runaway winner with Great Tusk winning on the very first pack. And now... I've got a Illustration Rare and a Shiny out of the first pack of Iron Treads. I will tell you that if these boxes are anything like the Crown Zenith boxes, they're just they're more loaded with hits than the ETBs, right? So let's see what happens. So this is our Charizard box. Let's see what kind of hits we can get from Charizard boxes. And if these are nuts, like my Crown Zenith ones, I think I might just keep them. I might not even put them, sorry about that, on the website because they're so loaded. Okay, here we go. We got a Armourage. So we reverse, and it is a reverse rare. A Ralts and a Professor's Research with Hollow Bleed. I think I'm going to just think that every single Hollow has got Hollow Bleed on it. Now, I did pull 
some brute bonnets uh, out of some of the last boxes. So nothing from the Charizard yet, right? Nothing from Charizard. Um, and I and I noticed that those and maybe some of the ones have a hollow through the normal hollow box and the reverse hollow box. So I'm wondering what is up with that. I've not seen uh, a brute bonnet that does not. And, and the rare spot has the white border, which is usually reserved in Scarlet and Violet for a reverse rare. So I would like to do some more research on that, and I haven't had time to do so, you know, work and whatnot. Uh, but I would like to find out. Uh, what's going on with that? Why is that brute bonnet hollow through the whole card and not just you can see like this box doesn't have any hollow in it because it's a reverse and that's kind of the way it normally is. Okay, cotton tea. And then we got an iron tread. So out of the great tusk box, we pulled an iron treads EX card. Holy smokes. And you know what? I think we are going to throw this in a, uh, a saver. So when we use the savers, I, I, for a long time I was putting them in top loaders and switching them, and that's just a booger. So we're going to put them in here, and if we decide not to send them, we'll switch them back to top loaders because when we sell them on eBay, we ship them out on top loaders, keep them safe. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just throw them in those, and if we decide not to, if we have too many off our oh, peddling fates. So I've got two hits out of both boxes so far, both tins. I've got two hits. One's a double rare and an illustration rare, and then one's got a shiny. Now, look, we're looking at that Charizard spot over there, and that Charizard's looking pretty lonely. Now, he is a Charizard, but he doesn't have very many friends with him, so let's see if we can find him something when it's his turn. But let's see if the Iron Treads can stay ahead with hits. Okay, here we go. Is there... Okay, nope. Nah, there's not. So it's just a standard rare, and again, what is up with that? There is some uh hollow bleed on that crazy okay so no hits that time we're now into the charizard 10 again let's see where the hits lie on this one okay here we go charizard card one two three a little, maybe a little bit on that corner we'll see what that third card in the hollow positions are charmeleon okay here we go we've got a uh frigabax and we got a Mankey and, oh, Annihilate. And again, I'm not even, even going to say it anymore. Just everything. So I'll mention if it doesn't have Hollow Bleed. But that's kind of crazy that they all have that. Okay. So we're building up that, that Peltian Fates bulk. Um, so far, Charizard's sitting there with nothing. Two packs in and nothing. Now, as you can see, you know, I've always said this. So you're going to get great boxes. You're going to get duds. So I like opening... And obviously, we open a ton. I do find that all of these sets for the last year and a half or so have had great hits. Oh, Charmander. But they're spread out, right? So you just have to understand that you're going to get one or two that are duds. And then, you know, I just really hope you don't get three. And then, you know, all three are duds. Okay, so we got a um, shiny rare. Looks a little heavy on the right. Okay, so you guys let me know what you think, if that's ascended or not. Paldine, students, reverse. And a Cyclozar. And like I said, I'm not going to mention it. We will not speak of that <laughs> any more of those uh, pulls. All right, so we got another shiny. It is not centered. So I don't feel like at this point, if I get it sent off, it's honestly, I don't, I don't think it's going to get me the same return because it's not going to be a 10. And I feel like by the time I get it back, no one's going to want a 9. But we'll put in a nice little holder to keep it safe. And we're going to say that um, we are now in the lead, right? So one, two. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That one belongs to Mr. Great Tusks. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now we go on to our, this is our third pack from Iron Treads. But we already have two good hits out there. Could we pull another one? And I'm telling you that I'm getting like a 60% hit ratio a lot of times on these boxes. So like, you know. Pretty good, three out of five. So out of five packs, three of them could potentially have hits. Now I've not seen the Charizard EX uh, Special Illustration Rare. Like I said, 14 words in some of these titles. So I'm hoping that we will pull that one today because I haven't seen it yet and I've opened a lot of the product. Okay, here we go. We have a Iono Reverse and a Gold Dingo. And then what we shall not speak of is back. Okay, here we go. And we'll throw those in there, more bulk. So no hits that time. It is a rare, every pack's got a rare, so we're not gonna put it up there unless it is a double or better. Now some of those, uh, like a Gold Dingo, maybe if it's a PSA 10, it might get me more than it costs in it. I would think that it would, at least initially. But 
with the number of things we have to, to ship off, it's not going to happen. So now we're in Charizard pack number three. Hey, Gengar. Here we go. Yeah, for those people who were waiting for me to say that wrong, I proved you wrong. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got another King Gambit. So we have two of them. This one does not look as well centered as the other one. It does look a little heavy on the right. And a Gravard. And another heater. Okay, here we go. A little Rotom. Okay, let's throw that in there. And we'll take a look at the back of each of these in a second, just to kind of see how the back's looking. I know for the people who honestly want to give me the feedback, you're going to want to see the back. So I'll show you. We'll just make sure every time. And If I haven't, I do apologize, but uh, I sometimes forget. All right, so this back is good. It's that front's a little bit heavy, but Charizard does finally have something in his court. So out of his third pack, he got that. We could get something nice out of two packs. Kind of a bummer that we pulled the same one. Okay, so maybe we can get a Mew, or maybe we can pull, I haven't seen the Alakazam one, but obviously, you know, we're, we're always hunting that Charizard. Whenever there's a, a, a big go-to chase card that's a Charizard, that's the one we're shooting for. Ah, Pikachu. We are back into Great Tusk. Let's see what Great Tusk can provide for us. Here we go. We got a Fido, and hey, there we go. We got a Gengar, and Armourage. Okay, we're just going to throw that. The reason I am throwing all these rares into sleeves is because they have that thing that we're not talking about anymore. This one is pretty well centered. Now, uh, the Gengars do not have uh, a, a rare card in this set. It's not rare. It's just, I think it's just uncommon, which is, I, I honestly, I talked about it before. I don't think I remember one that's not rare. And it looks pretty well centered. So what do you guys think? Gengar send or Gengar keep? We'll throw that up there. I know that it's just a reverse, but I do know that whenever I do put um, graded Gengars up somewhere, they go pretty quick. You kind of, regardless of whatever they are. So the, the thing would be that I would have to get back, like, you know, whatever the cost is. Let's say $18. If I can get at least $18, I break even on it. And I draw traffic to whatever site it is that I have it on, whether it be my eBay, hey, Pikachu, or I have it on uh, my website, Lapras. Oh, this is going to be a good, good box here. Okay, here we go. What can we pull? It is another one. And it's the same stinking one. I think they had a short stack sitting around and they just put the same cards. Okay, so we'll put that off to the side. And we have the Haunter. I wonder if we can get a, um, if we get a Ghastly. And, oh, look, it's like the same card over and over and over from all three of these. Now, all three of these did come out of the same box, right? Because um, I buy them by the case. So all three did come out of the same box, but that's kind of crazy. We would get the same cards repeatedly. So I uh, kind of wonder what's going on at least. Um, even with these, there's like 90 of them. There's like 90. This is pretty well centered. There's like 90 um, shiny. So I should be getting, I understand like the, the secret rares because those don't have, sorry, that one goes here. Um, they don't have a ton. There's 91 in the total thing. So you're going to get a lot of the same EXs. You're going to get a lot of the same of the secret, uh, special illustration rare ones, but not the shinies. There's 90 of those to go through. We only pulled two different ones out of four. That's just, it's a little off. Okay, here we go. We got one, two, three. Anyone a mathematician? You want to tell me the odds of pulling, uh, that combination like that twice? Anyone? Anyone? I don't want to do the math. I graduated and I don't want to do it anymore. I do enough math with work. Okay, here we go. We have, okay, no, it's a Char Cadet and a Wobat and a Judge. This is Judge, I think, four. I think this is Judge number four for me on the Paldine Fates. Uh, it is an ultra rare, so we did at least get something out of the Charizard box that is better than a double rare and not a shiny. It does look a little heavy on the bottom. Left and right looks okay. And the back? Back looks pretty clean. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. Um, so far, I mean, realistically, oh, I don't know. I mean, we could probably go with the first box as our winner so far. Um Although we have two shinies here, so I'm kind of tossing that one up to you guys as the judges. We have one pack left. What do you think it's going to be? So obviously, you know, the box is completely random, and I can't tell you that every time the winner of our competition is going to be the winner of your competition. But I would also like to know which one you did think win. Like, out of the cards that got pulled for each set, 
what do you pick as the winning ones? Which cards were your favorites? And then two, of the tens, which card are you going for? Are you looking for the Tusk, the Treads, or obviously the Charizard, okay? I don't feel like when you go to the store, there's going to be a ton of the Charizard boxes sitting there if you have a lot of collectors in your area. All right, we got a Mass Chiff and a Rev of Room. So we did not finish that box with another hit, but we did get three out of five, and we got a Reverse Gengar. So that is a pretty good box so far. We do have three. Oh, do we have more than no, three, yeah, three hits out of five, and the one of the reverses I think is a pretty popular card. Okay, so Great Tusk, it's got three. Iron Treads has already got three on the table with a possibility of a fourth card. That would be awesome, 80% hit ratio on the 10. I don't see that happening, but I'm not gonna turn it away, right? If it pops up, I'm definitely gonna take it. So one, two, three, here we go. All right, let's see what we can get. We're going through. I'm centered on the screen. I'm doing okay. Can we get that Charizard? Oh, man, I'm really hoping we get something nice. Here we go. Nothing. And like I said, we weren't going to get anything. And, uh, you know, we're putting all these in because of whatever. If you want to know why, look back at the earlier part of the video. I'll tell you why. Those are all going in sleeves in the earlier part. All right. And I didn't think there'd be anything because we already hit it. Now, this pack has got to have something for the Charizard pack. Could it be the Charizard Special Illustration Rare from Paldine Fates because, well, I'd like to have it. I mean, that's the because right there. The two, we've only hit two out of five packs so far. So this would be our 60% hit ratio that we're kind of getting. Oh, there's a Cassie, but it's not a reverse. Okay, Haunter. Oh, maybe there's another Gengar in here. Here we go. Oh, it's grass. That's not good. We want fire. Okay, Cyclozar, reverse. Pretty well centered. Pretty nice looking card. And, oh, that's where it would have been. Is there, there could still be an ultra. There's not. All right, guys. So the Charizard one kind of took a poop on the table here. Uh, it did not produce any of the results we were looking for, but we had fun opening it. I'm going to have to call the Charizard the loser. And that doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel okay to me, but it's going to be kind of the situation that we're looking at. So, Let's pull together all of the cards and see what we landed from our opening and kind of go from there. All right, so our Great Tusk EX box had a Great Tusk EX. Looks pretty good, right? I think we're going to send it. Even a nine right away will be okay. We have a shiny. We got a uh, double rare, Iron Treads, and we got another Palfin. We've had tons of those. I did also pull a Gengar Reverse. I pulled a Haunter Reverse. I'm going to look back through and see if I have a Ghastly. Then we have an Iron Treads box. This is the next one. Pretty well centered. Everything looks good. We got a couple duplicates, but we got some shinies and we got an illustration rare. So I think, honestly, you know, you got one, two, three good hits. But I mean, I, I, I think, I don't know. You guys tell me if you think the Gengar and the double rare together with the shiny. I don't know. I, I guess you could go either way on that one. So is it Great Tusk or Iron Treads? The Charizard. That's what I really wanted. I want to get these boxes ever since I saw the Charizard. So SVP 74, there's going to be like a million in Scarlet and Violet that are Charizard promos, I think. Uh, we did pull an Ultra, so we got a Judge, and we got this. So I don't know. I think with it just being a, an Ultra and it being a Judge and not perfectly centered for me, uh, I think we're going to have to go with either Iron Treads or we're going to have to go with uh, the Great Tusk. But you guys, uh, take a look at uh, what I showed you here. See if you can come up with a winner for me. As usual, if you guys can help me out, drop a like, drop a subscription, leave a comment. We're going to start making sure that uh, the people in the comments are the ones that we use for drawings and giveaways in our future live videos. Uh, I don't think I have one on the books right now, but it'll probably be next week from the time. Oh, we don't have a uh, reverse ghastly. So I think I might try to get a reverse ghastly, and then I can send them all off together, and then we'll have the full set. And if we can get PSA 10 and all of them, that'd be a pretty cool set to release. Um, so again, drop me any comments, any feedback you have on the video. I do appreciate you sticking around, and GM Pokey out.